Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. Today we're looking at this little, well, it's not really little, but it's a Master Mills Model B lathe tool post mounted milling machine. I got this a while ago. I had one a long time ago that was uh, smaller than this. I got a couple arbors, um, mil horizontal milling cutter arbors, and this is my second one of these, some kind of adjustable broaching thing. Now I'm going to get this set up to mount to the big LeBlanc lathe because I cut uh, quite a few keyways and it just give me one more tool in the arsenal besides the big horizontal milling machine. Because they also make other cutters. This is how it threads in there. I need to clean these up. They make end mill holders and all kinds of stuff. But this is not a tool post grinder. Let me fire it up for you. And once you see the speed that the cutter is going, sketch old switch. There you go. A little bit of bearing noise in the motor. The gearbox is running nice and smooth. That's the second to highest speed, as you can see. You know, that, that's not cutting very fast. That, that's not for grinding. So, here's the handle for adjusting it. It's got a, you know, it's, num dot, it's numbered and everything, and we'll see how accurate it is. That raises and lowers this whole part here. And down here is the bed clamp we will have to make. And this is just a, this looks like a piece of steel someone made, threaded. The LeBlanc's tool post is not, or a compound, is not very big. So we'll see what we can do to get something in there. I'm sure we'll have to obviously make a new piece. But that is no big deal. And get this guy uh, cleaned up a little bit. Because it's covered in sawdust for some reason. I doubt this was the original motor configuration. Because the motor only lines up with that one groove in there. And there's no real way to uh, adjust the motor forward. And it looks kind of, uh, kind of crudely welded, you know, onto there. So we can adjust that if, if need be. So yeah. Let's get the, uh bottom slide off it real quick I'll pull that off of there and I will bring you back okay so uh, where did I set it oh yeah right here this is the bottom plate that's to it as you can see it's pretty rough and ready it's got a flame cut edge but you know it did the job here's the tool post nut I'm making another one because I just picked up a D1 sized quick change tool post that's a little more appropriate than the CXA I was using on this machine. So as you see I'm starting to tool up this uh, lathe more. So width wise we're going to be okay. No problem there. Uh, actually thickness wise too I mean that's like very little play so we won't have to mess with that what we will do so all we have to do is shave up these sides which I think we're gonna do in the shaper it won't be today we're just getting you know evaluating what we need to do if my guess it looks like we need to take off oh three eighths of an inch to make this fit in there so we'll take it off both sides the important part of course whenever you use a bolted part into a uh, compound the bolt length you don't want the bolts to go through this and go into the bottom here and then act like a jack bolt that's how these get broken most of the time is people's hold downs that's why when you make 
tool posts, things like this. What you should do is make a, a shaft with a thread to here and a thread up top. You don't ideally want to put just a bolt through there because if you put one that's too long, it will thread through this and it will thread into the bottom of there and that can act like a jack and break that out. So typically you want a, a shaft with two threads on each side. That way it threads into here and is, you know, mostly flush or a little less. That way that can't happen. So yeah, I'll be real quick. So we'll clean up that machine and we will put this probably Monday into the shaper, get it cut down to size. Now this, you could do this on a bench grinder. We just need to, uh, you know, grind that down so it fits in there with very little play. But we'll use the shaper, because the shaper's cool. And I, it's plenty thick enough. So yeah, we'll do that. Get it cleaned up. And then we'll add to the uh, capabilities we have, because I really am working on getting this big LeBlanc set up. Uh, I do need to do some tailstock alignment, which I'm going to show you the way to really get it in quickly rough. And then I'll get a piece of hydraulic shaft or something really straight to dial it in. But I'll show you an easy way to get it, uh, you know, within a, within a couple thou, anyway. So, yeah. Get that going. We'll get that tool post going quick. And that thing is cool. Uh, I'm going to look for more pieces for it. And I might make a little overarm support for it. And we'll show you guys some cutting some keyways on it. So this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.